Using the Building Blocks Organizer in the Quick Parts is a great tool to quickly set up a professional looking unified document even if you don't have any design experience. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to Insert, Tab, Quick Parts and Building Blocks Organizer. And just so you have an idea, uh, by default when you open this you are going to see all these galleries. And so there's a gallery of cover pages, for example. And when you click on each of these, you will see a preview of what they would look like. So there's all sorts of cover pages in here. There's all sorts of footer styles that are all pre-designed for you so that you don't have to take the time uh, to do that. So there's the ion and blank and wisp. So they're all designed to work together, but the first thing you want to do is actually click this name field right here at the top, and it is then going to sort these in alphabetical order instead of this column in alphabetical order. So as soon as we do that, now we can see everything that's been designed to work together will be uh, contiguous here. So we're going to make use of these presets to set up this assignment with a banded header. So let's go ahead and insert that and the banded header is going to give us a document title and you can click in this field and put in the document title and then close that. And you know that that would also change the property in your backstage here. So we, if it already was done, it would have showed up in the banded header. Now let's go and get the corresponding uh, banded footer that is designed to look nice with the banded header. So we'll go to Building Blocks Organizer. It's still in alphabetical order here. So just scroll with your wheel down to banded. Well, we'll put in the cover page first because it's the next one. And we'll, we'll uh, insert that. Now, again, you can see that your document title, once you had it in your header, it would show up here as well as your backstage. It puts in the author field and it puts in your company name and your company address and you can fill those in. And it's it's complementary in the colors and the style with this banded header that we put on. So now let's go back into Quick Parts Building Blocks Organizer, scroll down and let's get the next thing is a banded footer. Now I believe this one it's not too exciting because you have quite a bit of focus here with this and they've just put in a page number for you but it's all pre-done. If we had a second page it automatically would number. So let's close out that header and footer with this or just double click back on the document and go into insert, quick parts, building blocks organizers and let's see what else we have. So we've got a header, a cover page, a footer. Now we have a banded quote text box which would look like this. And let's insert that. And you can see that the color is coordinated and the style. And you can then just click in here and put in your text. It's already stylized here to be uppercase and perfect. So I'm going to click outside of that. I'm just going to put in my equals rand bracket, open bracket, close bracket, and press enter. And that way I have some text in my document just to show you that uh, this has been uh, programmed to have the text wrap around it and which makes it nice and easy just to uh, do a little um, just a little pull quote in here to emphasize something that's in your report. And let's go back and see there was one more thing in there. Insert Quick Parts Building Block and we'll 
scroll down to banded and there's a banded side bar here sidebar and again it's all coordinated so we can insert that and I think we better move this banded text box over and over here you can see that we have the makings of a document that's all unified in style nice and easy to get set up uh, it would take you hours to uh, get all this set up yourself so go ahead and turn this document into uh, put those banded elements on there and give it a try